So let's get straight into this vid. I want to talk about Corviknight because the moment I saw this thing, I was like, that looks kind of cool. And I've watched a lot of videos on it, and apparently it's supposed to be our flying Pokemon the generation, you know, our HM replacer for fly, which I am 100% cool with. I think everyone can agree, no T, no HMs. I would honestly wish I'd take them out as TMs, because like, nobody wants to use fly or cut in competitive, it's just not useful, nobody uses them. So many other things you could use. But, um, anyway, to the start, uh, Pokedex entry not available for it, kind of obvious. What we do have though is, um, seven. its height is 7 feet, that's huge, by the way. Yeah, that's a big bird, but you do have to fly on it, so it makes sense. I mean, one thing I like is that we're not flying on Pidgeys anymore. Right, actually, the game's starting to slowly make sense. But let's be honest, the old mechanics were pretty funny. Um, it's 2.2 meter, that's the same, it's the same ratio. 165, it's pretty fat. It's pretty big. Imagine being 300 pounds and trying to fly on it, though. Um, number, it's not going to be national. I'll make another video on that, but no national decks. Um, that'll be a video for another day, which I have a few things to say. Um, it's flying steel. That's useless. Like, we already... This thing fits so much better as a dark flying type. Flying steel, it's just another Skarmory, it feels like. Like, granted, when I saw it, I was like, that could be steel. I mean, it's got the knight, the armor. But then I thought, it makes more sense. It's a crow. Granted, we already have a crow in Murkrow, but it's just useless. Um, not really much else other than that on Cerebi. Um, here's just some of the other, maybe you speak a different language. Cramor, I like that. I like that name for German, that's my favorite, probably. Cravela, I mean, it's, it's got some cool names. Or Morgue, I don't like that. Um, got some other, it's Raven Pokemon. Uh, unknown Generator, we really don't have a lot on it. There's a lot of Pokemon we don't have information on. Which is why I probably won't do a bunch of, uh, summaries on Pokemon, while the game is still to be unreleased, but... I mean, it's still just there, honestly. And then you go over the Bulbapedia, which it needs a second to load. Oof. I like to keep earbuds in, makes them more comfortable. Maybe one day I'll put on a music playlist. Um, it has a little bit more of the origin of it, along with just some other information we already had. Um, not in any regional Pokedex. Well, it's in the Galar, but you know, you guys could know that. Um, actually has the abilities, which, I mean, is, uh, is this all guaranteed confirmed yet? Because I don't remember, well, I guess we do have the abilities. I don't know if it was released at E3. I still have to look at some of the stuff from E3. Probably won't do a video on that, it's pretty long. But, um, Pressure Unnerved. I, I could have thought of a better, I could have gotten some better abilities, like Sturdy. Well, I guess I would have made it too close to Skarmory, but still. Would have been preferred. Um, Gender, that's all unknown. I want to look more into the origin of it though, because I thought it was kind of interesting. It's based on the Western Jackdaw. Picture of that will be right there on the screen, so you can do a little bit of comparing yourself. It's commonly found in Greatman, which makes sense. This is based on Europe, Galar, so. Its wing feathers resemble a knight's armor, and its head represents a knight's helmet. Yeah, it does. Corvid Knight's overall appearance may be based on the Black Knight characters from medieval settings. See, that makes sense though. Like, it looks like something that would be from medieval times. And I really like that idea, because like I said, it's based on Europe, so getting things like this, and it's based off an actual bird too, like I said. It's based off the Western Jackdaw. And it's maybe a combination, they don't know yet. And I'm um, actually, well, it says name origin, a lot of name origins in Pokemon are based off prediction, but it may be a combination of Corvid and Knight. I like that, I dig it. Amaga, maybe a combination of Gaga, Sun Squawking, and a, I don't know what that is, and a crow. Here we just had some other languages for it. Italian, same. Kramer, Corbinite, Kavila, it's kind of what we already had except for Gongora, in Chinese, and Gankaya. I need a, I don't know what this is, but I don't like that ad. Thank you. Yeah, we don't really know much on this Pokemon other than that. Um, we're not going to go down there. I don't know what that was. Probably dating site. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of all the information we have on it. And in my personal opinion, I think this Pokemon looks amazing. I cannot wait to check this thing out. 
try it out using competitive. Um, I'm just really excited to see how this thing goes. So, and it's the flying Pokemon of the region. So, I mean, it fits it. I cannot wait to fly on that. But um, anyway, that's gonna be all. Of them. If you need um, the music, there's Pandora. Wasn't expecting that. I, I think the ads are funny. I don't care. Some of them are just funny. Some of them I have to block out, but they're still gonna be a laugh. So. Um, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Okay, the ads are going too far now. Um, um, yeah, like I said, personal opinion looks cool. Can't wait to try it out. And, uh, this is the reason I made a video specifically on it. So I hope you all next time. Avoid you miss signing out. Stay awesome, everybody. Make sure to subscribe for more Twitter, Discord, Amino links in the description. And stay awesome, everybody.